For the first time, we're hearing from the CHP officer who was shot in the leg while trying to help a driver on the 8 freeway last spring. A preliminary hearing took place for you. How do he's charged with attempted murder of a peace officer? And our Phil Blower joins us now with some of the officer's emotional words in court. Maria, yeah, Maria Officer Tony Pacheco thought his life was going to end on that day. He says he believed he was going to assist a motorist who'd had a traffic accident when suddenly the call took a very dangerous turn. And tonight, you're going to be hearing from Officer Pacheco. But because of a judge's order, you will not see his face in court. I was in fear of my life. He was reaching for my pistol. That's never happened to me. I was convinced he was going to use that gun on me. CHP officer Tony Pacheco says he'll never forget his April 27th Mission Valley encounter with 25-year-old Yu Hao Du after an altercation on Interstate 8 following Du's car crash. He had a blank stare on his face, a thousand yard stare. It appeared as if he was staring right through me. The 32-year-old says the defendant, whose face was bleeding, says he wanted to kill himself. Pacheco was puzzled by that statement. I responded with, what? And then he... He said, can you kill me? Moments later, he testified Du lunged towards him, put both of his hands on his service weapon, and then the pair began violently fighting. The pistol went off while still in Officer Pacheco's belt holster. I heard a loud pop. My ears were ringing. I felt this extreme pain go down my leg. Um, followed by some numbness and like a tingly feeling and warm liquid running down my leg. In addition to the gunshot wound, Officer Pacheco tore a tendon in his left hand while punching Dew and ended up hospitalized several times for blood clots in his lungs and leg. So I'm fighting this individual who has like superhuman strength and it's like, I feel like once the gun went off and the blood was pouring, it's as if it gave him more strength. He just kept going. The only option I had was to get him off me and fight. That was it. Like my only chance of survival was winning that fight. The Supreme Court Judge Aaron Katz ordered Yu Hao Du to stand trial. Du had previously pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. He remains in custody without bail, and if he's convicted, he could face 40 years to life in prison. Maria? It's interesting how that all played out. We actually brought that to you live, and you did as well on the Fox 5 News. Yeah, it was pretty scary there. Thank goodness the officers uh, recovered and still kind of traumatized, obviously. Yes, that. absolutely, but we'll follow it, and you're on top of it. Thank you.